guys, and welcome to the Betwixt the Books Reading Resolutions. We're going to talk about what we plan to do as far as our goals for this year when it comes to both reading and our individual blogs. So we have some goals that we share in common, as well as some individual goals for ourselves, and we'll go through each of them for you today. The first goal is kind of a basic one. If you use Goodreads, you know that every year Goodreads challenges you to do your own reading challenge, and you can pick uh, your number of books. And if you watched our wrap-up videos, which you should have done, um, then you would know that Michaela and I had differing successes with our reading challenges. She beat hers, didn't beat mine. Um, and so I, for my Goodreads challenge this year, I am challenging myself to, again, read 100 books this year. I only made it to, I think it was like 83 last year or something. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm back to 100. Gretchen says that she failed to reach hers, uh, but that's just because her reading goal was 100 and mine was 50, and I just barely hit 50 in like the last couple days of the year. So she still read more than me. Don't don't take her saying that as like me being successful. Um, I always pick my reading challenges at 50, even if I read 50 books by July, because it gives me like a benchmark of how my reading is over time. So I can see, like, last year was a really great reading year, or the year before that was really sucky, um, because there's, like, this steady constant of, like, where I am. Um, I want to read more than 50 books. If I could read 100 books, I, that would be great, but um, I never know, and just setting it at 50 is easier for me. This goes on to our next challenge that we are both participating in. We are going to be doing the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, which has 40 different categories of books that we are going to try and read from. I have a post that came out on Monday that has my um, TBR for this challenge. So I went through each of the questions and looked through the books that I had on my shelves or in my TBR on Goodreads and added them into categories that fit the pop sugar challenge categories. As with most things, um, Michaela is way far ahead of me in the planning portion of this. <laughs> Michaela just kind of sent the thing to me and was like, hey, you want to do the thing? And I said, sure, I'll do the thing. I have no plans like she does right now. Uh, <laughs> so look forward to me bumbling my way after her through that reading challenge for this year as she like methodically plots that out. And I just kind of literally stumble behind her going, oh, I guess this fits. We are also going to try and take part in the read your own damn books challenge, which everybody is going for. I say this might be easier for me than it is for you because uh, I will be home with all of my books, whereas you have a small collection with you at school. Um, but I know that we can both do this. I have the problem of I like to go to the library and come home with like seven books and then I read those instead of my own books. So I'll have to work on that. But aside from that, I think that we can do this. I actually, a couple of years ago now, started a feature on my blog called Random Reads and I was using a random number generator to go into my have but need to read shelf on Goodreads and pick a random number and then read that book because mm -hmm. I have so many books. <laughs> I have so many books that I have bought and, and literally on my Goodreads, look at the have but need to read shelf. Um, and so yeah, I've been trying to do this for a couple of years and I really need to get it done because I just keep buying books and I have all of these books I haven't read and it's so bad. <laughs> so yeah, I, I am definitely looking forward to taking another stab at that kind of challenge. When it comes to our blogs and the goals that we share in common there, um, Gretchen and I are going to try and have at least one review a week. Um, so for me that would mean either a comic or a book review. Um, for you it would be just a book review in general. Yeah, I'm not as wide of a reader as Michaela is and Lord knows that means that not only do I just read books, I tend to mostly read YA books. Uh, I do have some more historical fiction coming down the pipe, uh, if we are, especially if we're doing this read your own damn books thing. I have a lot of historical fiction to read. I keep looking off to the side because I have a bookshelf right here. Uh, so I'm literally staring at all of these books that I have to read. 
that I haven't yet, so, yeah. For me, my individual goals, um, I have one for my blog and one for reading. Um, the one for my blog, since we were just talking about blog stuff, is I want to do at least four posts a week, so usually a Monday Musings, Wednesday's comic book day, Friday is a day where I do book stuff, and Sunday being um, our weekly wrap-up, which Gretchen and I will do to talk about everything that came out in our blogs the past week. Um, so those four posts I'm going to try and stay on top of. I might do more if I have other things to talk about. Um, but that is my goal, is to try and do four posts a week. Um, when it comes to my reading, I want to cycle between um, books for the reading challenge, books that I own, and advanced reader copies or books for review for you guys so that we can start getting some new content out to you as well. Um, so my reviews will cycle between those as well as my own reading. For myself, I don't have any reading goals besides reading. Uh, need to read, need to read books. I don't. I'm such a finicky reader. Um, like while I've been home, I plan to do a video for you guys about the rereads I've done while I'm here because I have all these books to read that I haven't read yet. But I just get into this funk where I just read through like all of my Tamora Pierce books and I needed to read them and I wanted to read them. So my reading goes off and on in spurts of themes of characters of authors. So it's it's really weird and I can't plan that because if I try and read books like I plan to read, I don't read them at all. Um, but for my blog, I also plan to have at least four posts a week out to you guys. Um, the two goals that you've already seen is to keep up with Worth It Wednesdays and Thesis Thursdays uh, to do the wrap-ups like Michaela talked about. Um, and then I want to add a new feature, kind of like Michaela's Monday Musings, if you're familiar with that, except for it'll be like Monday Musings from the Notebook, since my blog is called My Life is a Notebook. Uh, talking about my life and hopefully in video form uh, where I have a timer and I time it for five minutes and I just kind of talk about I mean it's quite frankly since I'll be at school it's very likely that it'll be bookish related um, but maybe not um, so that would be four it'll be five if I can get a review a week in I'm really hoping I can I know I can do that while I'm home but while I'm at school all bets are off because this is my final semester I graduate in May so we'll, we'll see how that goes. One last thing that I want to start getting back into um, that I had literally forgotten until this moment and I was thinking about reading all these books is the fact that, as I just said, I'm graduating and I will eventually need to move out of this house. Already this house is not big enough to hold me and all the books I possess. So I want to get back into doing one of y'all's favorite things, which is giveaways clearing yourself giveaways and uh, I'm really hoping to theme them around either bibliomancy videos or Michaela and I doing betwixt videos of books that we're reading or you know maybe a special feature um, but yeah I'm gonna start giving away a bunch of books because the second best place to go besides the library for all of your you know books that you no longer need is to give them away to you guys so you'll follow us places. I don't have books that I can give away to you guys because um, if I buy a book it's usually because I want to own it forever. Um, there are very few books on my shelf that I want to get rid of and while I have like a lot of books like I don't know if you can see that bookcase I have another one over here that's stacked really thickly with my childhood books that I read um, but if I have a job and there's a book that I really love and want to do a themed giveaway I might buy a couple of books and do it that way rather than giving you my copies um, but I don't know let's see don't worry guys I gotcha so thanks for hanging out with us as we talked about our bookish resolutions and we hope that you heard at least one thing in here that you're excited about uh, Lord knows we're excited about all of them and giving you guys much new content uh, for this new year and by the way teaser for what might be coming up in the end of this year you might want to hang out and see if you see you know Michaela and Taylor and I back in the same space just not in this country so keep watch for that maybe <laughs> maybe bye